Okay, hi there. Uh, welcome to Total Outcomes Physio in Langley. So we've got another interesting uh, topic for you today. It's, it's what's the difference between physicians and surgeons? So you know that, well, here in British Columbia and probably everywhere else, there's a, there's a, there's a governing college, it's, and it's a college of physicians and surgeons. Well, what is this physician thing? What is this surgeon thing? And why would it matter? Why would it matter to anyone? So, I'm going to tell you there's a difference between physicians and surgeons. So the physicians, those are guys that went to school, they got a lot of education, and they're kind of the, the slow and thoughtful thinkers. They're the, they're the ruminators. And the, the reason is because the types of problems they solve are, well, it's a certain type of problem. So let's contrast that with the surgeons. The surgeons, they're the, they're the fighter pilots of the medical professions. They, they, they make quick decisions, sometimes impulsive. It might look rash, but the reason these guys make decisions so quick and the reason why anybody lets them be surgeons is because they're pretty smart and they make the right decisions in a moment. But they're not always guys that want more information. So where the physician says, well, tell me about that. And they, they sit back and they listen and they go, well, tell me more about that. Tell me, how does, it, how does that exactly work? And then they'll think about it and it's okay. That's the right thing to do to sift through difficult diagnoses, different difficult problems that might not necessarily be an emergency. But, you know, surgeons are, are, are happy to tell everybody that, yeah, they absolutely do have a certain um, attitude and a certain uh, way of doing things. And you want somebody making quick decisions if, if you're gonna save somebody's life when they're on the table or in the emergency room or whatever. You want those surgeons to be quick thinking. So the difference between physicians and surgeons is, is that, and, and for every area of medicine, you usually have a physician and then a surgeon. So you have a neurologist who doesn't do surgery, and then you have a neurosurgeon, okay? And you've got a cardiologist, okay? And then a cardiovascular surgeon. So a lot of the time there's a physician and a surgeon for each, and they, there's, their system overlaps a little bit. Now, in orthopedics, all we have is an orthopedic surgeon. We don't really have an orthopedist it doesn't exist so the orthopedist is really the physiotherapist or maybe the sport med doctor <coughs> which isn't um, necessarily a medical specialty but it's a, a bit of an advanced education so so you got the physiotherapist handling the conservative um, management the non-surgical management of orthopedic issues orthopedic meaning bones joints and muscle and then you have the orthopedic surgeon who does the fixing, who gets in the op in, into the operating room and fixes a thing. We know that we do our jobs symbiotically and, and that's great because it, it, together we can get better outcomes for you. But now sometimes people have a question, so why does my orthopedic surgeon, why does he treat me like this, why does he treat me like that? You get to talk to your physio several times a week about your knee problem or your back problem or your neck problem or your jaw problem and you really feel like that person listens to you, you really feel like they get to know you, they can coach you in depth spending as much time as they want so that you, you get it, you understand, and that's important. Now, the orthopedic surgeon knows that the physio is doing that, but then every once in a while, maybe only every several weeks or maybe every couple months, you see the orthopedic surgeon and, and it seems like he's in a bit of a hurry or maybe it seems like he's making some pretty strong statements. Now, I'm telling you that these guys are Partly it's who they are, they're surgeons. So they, they have strong opinions and they're educated opinions and they make a quick assessment of where you're at. Okay, let's say in their mind they're thinking, this person needs to work harder. Then they might make comments that are extremely motivating. And the comments they make that are extremely motivating won't be long dissertations on why you should work harder in your rehab. They might actually do something that just makes you afraid. Okay, they might do something that makes you go, oh my gosh, he just said such and such. And so people go back to their physio and they, they might have even fear, they might have anger, and they say, I can't believe he said blah, 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 blah. Right? And, but, the, but the orthopedic surgeon said that in order, to, in order to get you to work a little harder. And you know what? When the guy in the white lab coat with all that education, when he says these things, when he makes those quick statements, it makes a big difference. He can, he can give you hope when you're hopeless with a few words, okay? He can take your over-optimism and turn it into hard work. 
So the, the surgeon has a lot of power in that short meeting and, and I just want you to understand that it's partly who he is and partly how he's trying to steer you and motivate you and just trying to get the best outcomes because I haven't met a surgeon so far that doesn't want excellent outcomes. Okay, thanks for li listening. That's the difference as far as I see it, you know, between physicians and surgeons. So take, take what you can from that and you have a great day.